Wow, in just a couple weeks here, it is going to be my one year anniversary of starting this YouTube channel. Of course, I've had an account on YouTube way longer than that. And back in the day, I made a couple random videos about some completely different topics, but it was one year ago that I really kicked this channel off and I started consistently making videos all about intentional living, entrepreneurship, and success. And oh my goodness, in this past year, my channel has grown so much. There's been a ups and there's been downs, but over the course of the year, I've attracted about 55,000 subscribers, which I think is crazy for my first year, and I am just so pleased with. Now, of course, there's been plenty of channels in the past that have done way more than that in their first year. Tons of channels have gotten 100,000 or 500,000 or even a million of subscribers in their first year, but I was never expecting to hit this level of success on YouTube ever necessarily, and I know that a lot of of people who I know who have YouTube channels had to work for a few years to even have just a few thousand subscribers. So I really was very surprised when my channel started growing so quickly, but I quickly realized that there were a few things that I was doing that were contributing to this growth and were causing my channel to be so successful. So in this video, I'm not at all bragging. I don't think that I did anything particularly amazing to make my channel get to this point, but I do think that there are about seven different important things that I did that caused my channel to grow so consistently throughout this entire year. And I'm really excited to share them with you so that you can grow your channel more successfully and potentially start attracting subscribers more quickly. But even if you don't have a YouTube channel and you've just been watching my journey here on YouTube and you're curious what made my channel grow so quickly, I'm really excited to share these things with you. Now, like I said, there's six different things in this video that I'm going to be sharing with you and I just want to say before I get into them that they are all very important and they're not in any sort of order because I can't say this one is more important than that one because I really think that it's having all of these different aspects together that allowed my channel to be as successful as it has been. So you might be doing three or four of them yourself and think, oh that should be enough to make my channel grow, why isn't my channel growing, why am I not attracting subscribers? but I just want to encourage you and let you know that it's really important to do all of these things and that's what's gonna get you the results. Okay, so with that being said, let's jump into the six things that you need to do to attract YouTube subscribers more quickly and the six things that I did that allowed my channel to grow to 55,000 subscribers in my first year on YouTube. All right, so the first thing is coming up with really good video ideas. Now, of course, everyone on YouTube tries to come up with good video ideas, but the thing that I did differently and that I'd recommend that you do is to research the wazoo out of figuring out what ideas to use for your videos. So don't just, you know, wake up one morning and think, oh, maybe I'll make a video about such and such, or I feel like talking about such and such today. Of course, you're welcome to do that if you want, but if you want the best results, if you want to attract the most subscribers and get the most views on your video, then you need to research, research, research. You need to look at other channels that are like yours to get inspiration and ideas, and especially to see what types of videos, what video concepts people are interested in watching. This is just plain old market research and figuring out what the demand is. If you make a video about something random that just occurred to you, you don't know if people want to watch it. But if you see that lots of other people made videos about their trip to Ireland and those videos got lots of views or if lots of other people made brownie recipe videos and those videos got lots of views, that tells you something. It tells you that people are interested in those topics. Now I've made an entire video that goes really deep into the step-by-step -step of exactly how I research my video ideas because it's a little bit more complex than I made it out to be just now. So I'll make sure that I link that video down below so that you can check it out if you want to learn more about how to research viral video ideas. Okay, now the second thing I know everyone says, and you're probably tired of hearing, but I have to say it because it is so important, and that is consistency. You must be consistent if you want your channel to be successful. I'm not saying there's never exceptions to that. There certainly are channels out there where the creator is not consistent with their time or their quality or the types of videos that they put out, and they still manage to be successful, but that is really a, just a wild card, and it's not the rule. The rule is if you want to grow, you have to be consistent. You have to be 
consistent with what type of content you put out there, the quality of your content, and the frequency of your content. So what I mean by that is, first off, the type of content. You can't just put out a video about one thing one week and something different the next week and something different from that the next week and then expect to be able to attract subscribers and retain subscribers and retain video views. And what I mean by that is if this week I make a cooking video, then I'll attract people who are interested in cooking videos. And then next week I make a travel video or a tech video, then none of the people who subscribe because of that first video are going to watch the second video. So my views on that video will be really low and my reach on YouTube will really suffer because of that. So it's important that you are consistent with with what type of videos you put out. It's also important that you're consistent with the quality of your videos because if you make one amazing video and then some crappy videos, then people are gonna stop watching your videos because they don't know what to expect. And then finally, you wanna put out videos consistently as far as time goes, so once every week or twice every week so that people know what to expect and so that they know to come back to your channel on a regular basis. It also really helps to motivate people to subscribe. If you just put out a video every once in a while, then people might think, well, it's not even worth subscribing because I don't know when her or his next video is going to come out. But if you can say, I put out a new video every week or two new videos every week, then they know that there is a reason for them to subscribe. Okay, the third thing is a little bit more big picture and vague, not quite so concrete, a little bit harder to implement, but it is important. And that is, I knew who my subscriber was. Now, what I mean by that is, if you don't know who your subscriber is, then you might choose a topic that your channel is about. You might say, I have a cooking channel or I have a tech channel, but you will then be very confined with what type of videos that you can make. Uh, and that might be fine for you. You know, you might be able to just make cooking videos every single week. And and forever, you know, and you, that might be totally fine. But for a lot of people, you might get tired of that type of content and you wanna branch out a little bit. And so you think, okay, um, fitness kind of relates to cooking, so I'll make fitness videos along with my cooking videos. And then maybe people don't watch those videos and you're not sure why. But it might be because people loved watching your decadent dessert videos and that's where all your subscribers were coming from, so they didn't wanna watch your fitness videos. That's just an example, but I think you see where I'm going with this. If instead you focus on who your subscriber is. So maybe your subscriber is a female who is into health and fitness, then you have a wide range of videos that you can make that will all be interesting and appealing to that type of person. So for me, I know that my subscribers are really interested in being successful, and that means a lot of different things. That means that they want to figure out what success means to them, and it means that they want to figure out better strategies in their life so that they can be more effective and be more productive. So when you really get to to know who your subscriber is, then you can make content that will be appealing to them and interesting to them and they will want to watch. Now the fourth thing is actually really simple and that is just engage with your subscribers. So when people leave comments on your video, you want to respond to their comments so that they know that you heard them, so that you can develop a better relationship with them and because it tells YouTube that people are interested in your video and people are talking about your video. The fifth thing that I did is also pretty simple, and I think people think this is more complicated than it is, but just YouTube SEO. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. YouTube is a search engine, and basically what the concept behind this is, is people are on YouTube, they're searching for things, they're looking for certain types of videos or videos about certain types of things, and so they search things both in the search bar and also they're browsing around YouTube and they're clicking on one video and then they're clicking on another, so YouTube is recommending similar videos to them. And all search engine optimization, SEO is, is giving YouTube or Google or whatever the search engine is, as many clues about what your content is about as possible. Basically, you're just trying to make YouTube's job as easy as possible. So that means that you put words in the title of your video that aren't necessarily the most artistic, appealing words, like that's not the point so much, but 
just practical words that tell what your video is about. It also means that you actually write a description that's more than one sentence long that includes several different words about what your video is about. You put tags that are relevant to your video and a bunch of them. And you also name your video file and your thumbnail file, also words that are relevant to what your video is about. Basically every opportunity that you have to tell YouTube more about what your video is about, take that opportunity because that will make YouTube's job easier and make it easier for them to recommend your video to people who want to watch it. Okay, and the sixth and final thing is very important, and I think that a lot of people whose channels aren't growing are skipping this. And I say that because uh, people email me pretty frequently and they say, what's wrong with my YouTube channel? I've been consistently uploading all year and I only have 100 subscribers, you know, what do I need to do differently? And I go and I look at their channel and this is the immediate thing that jumps out to me. And conversely, I don't know if I've ever seen a channel that was doing this right that was wasn't regularly, you know, consistently gaining subscribers. And that is simply to have very eye-catching, appealing thumbnail images. So the thumbnail image, in case you don't know, is just the little picture that people see before they actually click on your video, like the picture people see of your video and then they click on it and they watch it. That little picture is so important. Now the reason is a little deeper than you might think. It's not just because obviously you want people to watch your video, so you want that picture to be something people want to watch. I mean, of course that, but it goes deeper than that because whenever YouTube shows your video to people as an option, so it shows up in the search or it shows on the sidebar of the video, whenever someone sees the option to watch your video, they either choose to watch it or they choose to not watch it. And the more likely, the more frequently people take the choice to watch your video, the more likely YouTube is to recommend your video to other people. So in case that was confusing, let me just say that a different way. Let's say that YouTube recommends your video to 10 people, whether it's because they searched for it or it's over on the sidebar, whatever, YouTube shows your video to 10 different people and one of them clicks on it and watches it, okay? Then basically in YouTube's eyes, your video has like a score of one, so it's not very popular. Like I'm over generalizing this big time, but bear with me. Conversely, if YouTube showed your video to 10 people and five people watched it, then it has like a score of five, okay? I'm, like I'm making up the term score obviously, but in YouTube's eyes, this is much better because YouTube got people to watch your video much more easily, which means that YouTube was able to keep people on YouTube much more easily and it satisfied YouTube's customers better. So it is in YouTube's best interest to show your video to more people because it is easily converting people into viewers. So all that to say, if you have an awesome thumbnail that really compels people to click your video and watch your video, then YouTube is going to be all about recommending your video to more people. So we live in the social media age and sometimes videos go viral on social media where people are sharing them and sharing them and sharing them, but a lot of the time when a video goes viral on YouTube, that's not why at all. A lot of the time it's because it has a great thumbnail and it's about an interesting topic, you know, that's interesting to a certain type of person, and YouTube figures out, okay, such and such a type of person really wants to watch this video, and once YouTube figures that out because of SEO and because your thumbnail's awesome so people are clicking on it, then YouTube goes crazy and they show it to tons of people who want to watch it and that is when the video goes crazy viral. Okay, so I hope that that all made sense. I know some of them were super obvious and simple and then others were a little bit more complex, but I hope that I was able to explain all these different um, strategies in ways that made sense and I hope that you enjoy this video and you found it helpful. I know that in this past year in YouTube, I have learned so much about what worked with my channel and and what didn't work or what completely didn't matter as far as helping my channel grow. So I really just wanted to share with you guys these six different things that helped my channel grow so much and so consistently throughout this past year so that you can take them and use them in your channel too. Okay, well thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I make two videos every single week about intentional living, entrepreneurship, and success, and I would love to have you join me for the next one. Also, make sure sure you hit that thumbs up button down below to let me know that you liked it and so more people can find this video too. And finally, the last thing that I just wanted to throw out there is most months I teach a workshop about a topic, something that I do in my life or do with my business, how to do something, okay, and I, it's an hour and a half long workshop and I'm considering making next month's workshop 
about how to start a successful YouTube channel. And if that is something that you would be interested in seeing or participating in, then leave me a comment down below and just let me know if you wanna have a workshop, a live workshop online all about how to have a successful YouTube channel. I don't know if you guys are into that or interested in that, but leave me a comment below and if enough people say that they want that, then that's what next month's workshop will be all about. Okay, well, that is all I have for you guys today, but thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys again in my next video.